All right, everyone. So we are at the Elvis Presley Birthplace Museum. And we have been here before. I'll drop the video in the link in the description or whatever. But uh, we're back. Last... We didn't get to go in last time, so that's what we're doing now, hopefully. Yes. Last time we stopped in on a road trip, and it was after hours. This is Tupelo, Mississippi. Right over there is the house. Your Elvis experiences starts here. No filming? Oops. So you can't shoot in the museum, unfortunately. It was super dark in there too for the artifacts. Yeah. It's also one of Elvis's clothes. It was fun. It was a very informative museum. They said don't take pictures in the museum. It didn't say anything about not taking pictures or shooting the house. Last time we were here we didn't get to see inside, so. Oh, nice. Okay. So here's the front porch. It's a little shotgun house, and Verna made it by hand. Verna made it by hand? Mm -hmm. Wow. That was in the museum. There is actually a lot of information in the museum. Oh, see if they tell us to shut off the camera. Nope. Either way, it's fine. Ooh. Wow. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Do you need to see my ticket? Yeah, there's a bucket right here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Got, yeah. Let me yeah. see here. I got you. Oh. <laughs> She's ahead of me. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Well, I mean, do you guys want me to tell you about the house? Okay. Oh, yeah, that would be fantastic. I I, I'm going to talk about it if you want to listen. Yeah. Okay. All right, so. The house was built by Elvis's father, Vernon, in 1934. Wow. Vernon had to borrow around $180 from his boss at the time for the materials to build the house, and then he built it here on this spot. So this is the original location of the house. It's never been moved at all. Wow. Elvis and his twin brother Jesse were born in this room in 1935, but Jesse was stillborn, and so Elvis was the only child that Vernon and Gladys Presley had. <clears throat> they were only able to live in the house for about four years. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And that's because Vernon was sent to prison for a few months because he had forged a check. Um, because of that, he had no way to try to pay back the money he borrowed and then Gladys was also unable to afford it on her own either and so the house was repossessed. Elvis at the time was only about three years old so he was around the same age as he was in this photo right up here when they had to move. They did still continue to live here in Tupelo afterwards but they had to move around a lot from house to house. Uh, most of that time, they just kind of moved in with relatives that they had living around. And so, they decided to move to Memphis when Elvis was 13. They sold most of their belongings when they moved, so these furnishings throughout the house now are not entirely original to the Presleys. Most of what's in here now was donated, but everything is still from the same time period that they used to live here. Vernon also came back later on in the 70s when the house was opened, and he actually helped set everything up the same wow. way that he remembered it, and like in the same layout, so it all does still look very close to how it used to. 
The fireplace in here is still original and then also the stove and the ice box which are right over in the kitchen there are original as well. Wow. Thank you. It's so interesting. So I had been having a conversation with my brother who was under the impression that something had happened to the original house and they moved another house here that looked like it. Mm -hmm. But this is the original house? Mm -hmm. This is actually the very cool. Very cool. Yeah. That's cool and that's really nice to know. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow. My grandmama used to cook on a stove very much like this down in Sumter County, Georgia. I'm very familiar with this sort of setup. Look at this wallpaper. Dad, dad. <laughs> it's Victor Hugo's curtains all over it. <laughs> I was just gonna say Victor Hugo's bodyguards are gonna come get me. Ah, Paris. So yeah, not the same, not the original furniture, but close. Push that door again. I love that sound. I think to most people today, this is considered very primitive. But up until very recently, a lot of people lived like this, including my own grandparents. I'd wager there are still people out there today who consider this standard, though I imagine that generation is quickly fading. That's weird. So, yeah, so if you are having this conversation with members of your family or friends, <laughs> this is actually the original house. Elvis's dad, Elvis Presley's dad, the king of rock and roll, actually built this house. And more importantly, he came in the 70s and like helped set it up. Yeah, that that's astounding. I mean, that's really, really cool. So what you see in there is not just somebody's idea of how it might have been yeah, set up. Exactly. It's, yeah. That is cool. So the church is rented out. Can't do the. That's the museum. What was that up there? That's the chapel. We couldn't get tickets for that. That's what, no, that's, that's fine. fun because then if we're over here next time, we can get right, tickets yeah. for that. Buy a head, we'll buy it ahead or something. So a recap. We were here several years ago. The video by now should be in the comments or the description or something. Um, we came back. You cannot film in the museum. That's fine, we respected that. You apparently can film in the house, which we did. So we hope you enjoyed this uh, video and we'll see if you down the road. If we get a cease and desist, we'll take it down. Right, right. Watch it fast. Thank you very much. Historic downtown Tupelo. And boy, does this have a history. And unlike many small towns you pass on the way here, this town is vibrant. What do you think, sweetheart? This is a really cute downtown. It is. Hey, what do we have here? A mural. That's a mural I can get behind. Is it pretty alley? Ooh. I bet it's pretty when the lights come on. Oh, yeah. I like the fire escape that comes down. <clears throat> a little, little side step here. You can see the winch system up there that lets the fire escape come down that's pretty cool feed your soul wow Ooh, how cool i don't usually fall over on him with his downtown walkabouts <laughs> well this is tupelo just look at these buildings 
instead of vacant crumbling stores like some we've seen these are full of businesses I think he goes on down that way. Wow, they have saved a lot of their downtown. Yes, they have. Guess I should have used this for the intro, but oh well. Welcome to Tupelo. The home of the king of rock and roll. And they have these guitar... What's that? Oh yeah, time. The clock is always ticking. The police well, closes the at some point. store closes. So what are we going to see, Stacy? This is the hardware store where Ellis's mom bought him his first guitar. Can't get much better than that. I'm not a fan of folk art, but it hits differently in Tupelo. And just for the record, there's a, these, these little establishments here have live music, which should be appropriate for places in a town that birthed Elvis Presley. Ooh, something smells good. Y'all need to come to Tupelo because it smells delicious out here. Oh yeah. Or just between here. Probably the most important store in Tupelo. Shall we? Inside Nice selection of hats is a hardware store. So we saw a picture of this place in the museum and it doesn't look like it's changed all that much. Look at the ceiling. Yeah. So neat. Very cool. Look at the shelves, all the metal shelves that were indicative of hardware stores in the old days. It's nice to see it still vibrant and thriving. Inside this hardware store, it's business as usual. They have guitars. There isn't a lot here to betray its pivotal role in American rock and roll. Just some guitars for sale and the Elvis standing up there. They're ceiling fans. This is really neat. Two story building. It's a great example of architectural history as well. Wow. And that's awesome. Where are you from? Florida. Whereabouts? So we tour around the place a little bit, taking in how it is just a hardware store. <clears throat> so life in this hardware store today is life in a hardware store it's like business as usual it's not like it's not like a museum right it's not docents walking around yeah <laughs> This is a big hardware store. Yeah, so can I help you find We do not know what we're doing. I love that upstairs though. That's really neat. It's pretty much a hardware store. And to just walk in this place you would never know the history that it has behind it. On first glance, because it's just a hardware store. But this is where Elvis's mom bought him his first guitar. Then Stacy pointed out the creaking wooden floors. Oh, okay. 
probably have. There are, of course, t-shirts. These are not Silvertone guitars, these are Fenders. There's something else. Is there something King? I gave her a price and she said, Do I look like Shutterfly? I like them. I like the yellow one. Yeah. After standing around waiting to see how to buy a t shirt, some other shoppers just walked behind the counter and handed her one. We didn't know what we were doing. He almost got arrested. So Stacy got some t-shirts. Yeah, I got Brian a t-shirt and me a t-shirt. I'm gonna walk around just a little bit more. Uh, Stacy's gonna get in the car, and uh, we'll have a look around downtown Tupelo. Outside, there's a lot more evidence of just who came from this town. Downtown Tupelo is as nice a downtown section as you're likely to find anyway, anywhere. Seem to have nice shops, delicious smelling food. Elvis in every window. In the museum, it told the story of how young Elvis wanted a gun, I think, for Christmas. His mom talked him into getting a guitar instead. I can't help but wonder if he had chosen to be like all the other boys and not chosen the music, if he had never gotten that guitar, what history would have been like. We may never have had the king of rock and roll. See you at Johnny's.